going great. Having a good time in Cabo. The show went well. People are nice. Can't beat it. I can't wait for it to air so the world can see how amazing I truly am. It's my first televised set, so that's exciting. It's really impressive. My parents have been married almost 42 years. Yeah. Thank you. Just to seven different people. Having this microphone shoved in my face is the highlight of my career. What surprised me most about being a comedian? Yeah. That I get paid obscene amounts of money to do this. But I worked as a comedy writer for a long time before that and a performer, so I feel like that kind of gave me a head start. What's that saying? If you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life? I've never worked a day in my life. Getting heckled and not knowing what to say back, that was pretty tough. Got a good wife. Not a perfect wife, good wife. Perfect wife, spy for the CIA. Think about it, guys. Your wife comes home from work. How was work today? I can't talk about it. Perfect. The best advice that I've gotten? Pull out, now. Write down anything you think is funny and get up anywhere you can. Don't worry about getting paid and just keep working it. I mean of the business. Be yourself, be confident. Get up as much as you can on stage and do it. Get on stage as much as possible, write as much as possible, and be original. Those three things, keys to success. I got the tattoo right here to prove it. My son's name is Maximus Rex. Is that not the tightest name? Maximus Rex, are you not entertained? My wife was like, really? Maximus, that's your son's name? He's either gonna be a dragon slayer or a hairdresser. And dragons aren't real. You know you're in Mexico when it's really hot and it looks like LA, but there's no freeway. You know you're in Mexico when you crap your pants the second day you're in town. There's tequila everywhere and Mexicans everywhere. I love the Latino mommies. I'm sweating 24 hours a day. Butt cheeks. I'm a big fan of Latin girl butt cheeks. I like the grandes nalgas. Or no, girls don't sweat, they perspire, right? and the chichis don't hurt either. The only thing I don't like about Cabo is I feel like there's a lot of double standards here. Right, like why is it when a girl goes out and sleeps with a bunch of dudes, she's considered a slut? Right, but then if a guy does it, he's considered a homosexual. Don't miss me on Stand Up and Deliver in the beautiful Cabo San Lucas. I should probably start over because I don't know where I am right now. This is Camilla Cleese. This is Camilla Cleese. Don't miss me on Stand Up and Deliver on Nouveau TV. <laughs>